Hi there, I hope you're all having a wonderful week. This is again another Tech Thursday doing what I like to call in my head Tethics and I don't really like to say that out loud because it's not as cool as I want it to be. I wish tech and ethics could go together and I get like Tethics but that doesn't sound right and then you get Tethics but Tethics doesn't really imply tech it just adds a T in front of ethics. This week I want to talk about anonymity said that right anonymity and an anonymity anonymity isn't anything that's new to us as a culture it's something that's been around for a long time and it's not something that once computers were created people realized they could be anonymous someone could write a letter back in the day and you could kind of never know who wrote it without having some clues that told you such as a name or whatnot people have publish books under pseudonyms all the time and if they don't say who it is or if somebody doesn't come out and say who it is people might not ever really know who does it and there's a lot of quotes and sayings that we have these days that they're attributed to anonymous because nobody really knows who said these quotes where did they come from what's what's the deal with an anonymity and why am I wanting to talk about that today well there's been a fun and I say fun very loosely here. There's been a fun hashtag cause thing going around the internet for the past while. And that has to do with uh, game ethics and journalism. And it's hashtag Gamergate. I don't really want to talk about Gamergate. I just want to talk about the anonymity that comes with being on the internet. And that's the most recent cause, and that's what has me thinking about this. So, so what am I wanting to discuss? Well, there's some really cool things that can come with being anonymous, and I've discussed this with people in the past. There, one of the tools that we used in college was a forum type discussion board. So we could ask questions, and we could get questions about the homework and the assignments and the projects, and we could study together on that. And it was really cool because you could post it anonymously. So if you thought, hey, I don't really understand this logical problem, but I don't want to seem stupid when I ask the question, you could post anonymously and students could come in, professors could come in, and they could give you an answer. And then you work up the strength to be the person who asked the questions that you, lots of people are probably thinking. And so eventually you might do that enough that you're like, hey, I'm gonna actually post this as me. And then you see that people are thanking you and like, hey, thanks for actually asking this question. I've been thinking it, but I didn't want to seem stupid. And then you realize that, you know, being able to be anonymous kind of gave you the courage to be not anonymous. Being anonymous can be beneficial in that scenario. And I think that it's a really good one. Now, at the same time, you could be anonymous and you could post a hate letter on the discussion board about a classmate or the professors and and you can do that and I guess that's where the that's where the negative stuff comes in anonymity allows people who are otherwise I'm assuming because I assume the best in people or otherwise some of the nicest people to be really evil and they just say things that if you ever were with them in person they would never say they're the type of things that people would be like that person wouldn't say that. They're a nice person. You know, they bought coffee for an old person once. I don't know if they'd ever say that. Um, I don't know if that's a sign of being good or nice. Um, I think I mixed a couple things, like buying something for someone and helping a lady across the street. I don't know. And so, and so with, with the, the Gamergate thing, there are people who have come out in sort of in response to the whole thing and have issued death threats to multiple people and have basically released re people's personal addresses and everything and kind of called for people to do something and do something negative really and some of them have claimed that they were with the cause and some of them haven't but they've all sort of they've all sort of used it in one way or another, whether or not they're associated with it, they've used it as a shield to hide behind some Twitter tag or Twitter names and use this hashtag to kind of attack people and just be really vile. And so that's not good. 
There are other ways on the internet that anonymity is able to be used to deceive others and lie, and that is often seen in people telling kids, be careful who you talk to on the internet, because it might not be who you think it is. So that 13-year-old that you're playing RuneScape with probably isn't going to be a 13-year-old. I mean, there are chances. Yes, there could be that 13-year-old playing RuneScape with you right now. But chances are they could also be some kind of creepy person living in a basement somewhere, like, stalking kids, and that's creepy, And but that you can do that on the internet. So, yeah, what do you think? Do you think anonymity is, is a terrible evil and it should be gone forever, or do you think that the existence of anonymity allows for us as a culture to grow and pitch ideas without feeling the fear of being shot down? Um, let me know, and uh, let's discuss it, and I will hope to all... I hope to see you all next time, hopefully soon. Hopefully I don't go weeks without making videos. I miss a couple days here and there, but I always try to get back on track eventually. And I love you all. I hope you don't forget to smile. I hope you think about the technology that you're using and think about it in how it affects you and how it affects the people around you instead of just blindly looking at technology and saying, yes, I want it because it's new. So with all that, I'll see you next time. Adios. Anonymity. I've said anonymity so much it doesn't sound like a real word right now.